hey 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 welcome back to my channel so as you can see from the title today we are going to be making some couscous jollof couscous is a dish eaten mainly by the people of northern africa and i must say is one of my favorite dishes without wasting time let's just get started so obviously i am going to be needing some couscous i have here about 200 grams of couscous now i'll come in with one tablespoon full of olive oil i'll mix it up very well next i'll come in with some hot water i'll just use enough to cover it up Afterwards, I will cover it up with a clean napkin and set it aside for about 10 to 20 minutes. So I've got here some vegetables, I've got some chopped carrots, I've got some chopped spring onions and I have some chopped sweet pepper. I've also got here my leftover chicken stew. If you don't know how to make this chicken stew, I have the link in the description box, you can check it out. I've also got some leftover chicken here. What I will do is, I will cut the chicken into smaller pieces and I will get rid of the bones. I'll put a pan on fire and come in with my chicken stew. I'll drop in some garden peas. I'll cover this up and let it cook for about two minutes. So our couscous should be ready by now. With the help of a fork, I'll separate it. I need it to be grainy. So by now my green peas have cooked very well so I'll come in with my couscous. This is just like cooking jollof rice but you're using couscous instead of rice. Next I'll drop in my chopped vegetables and I'll mix everything up. We're going to be stir frying so we're doing this on medium fire. Now it's time for the chopped chicken. And I'll keep on mixing. I'll keep stir frying for about two more minutes. I'll drop in my favorite seasoning to add some extra taste to it. And I'll come in with a pinch of salt to taste. I'll keep this on the fire for about a minute more. So, our couscous jollof is ready. And I tell you guys, this is so, so delicious. I wish you could taste this. You definitely need to give this a try. If you love couscous, this is one of the best ways to cook it. It is easy, so affordable, and I use my leftover ingredients, but it tastes so delicious. Okay guys, so I hope I did help you, and I hope you are going to give this a try. If you do, let me know how it comes out for you. You can send me pictures if you want to. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends. And don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.